Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays. That'll be playing Europa Universalis 4. Uh, we left off last episode contemplating attacking Ming, just for shits and giggles. Just to see what would happen. So what I think I might do is just kind of prep for that. It would involve putting a much larger army in the field. Uh, probably a larger navy, too. Atta oh, fuck! Aha! So, um, that's like the fifth time that's happened in this series. Uh, that's a stability drop. I lost two full armies worth of manpower, which is fucking ridiculous. And I lost almost all of my generals. That's just great. Literally talking about prepping for the biggest war the world has ever seen. I lose all of my generals and uh, two armies worth, and what is that, 70, 80,000 manpower? Oh, that is frustrating. That There's certain events in this game that tend to happen a lot, and I don't know why they happen. That's one of them. Well, at least in this playthrough, that happened. That, that particular event happened a bunch of times. And what I don't get is it says, like, one leader will die, and then all of them die. And I don't know if that's a bug or what. But uh, what, I, what I do know is that I want to attack these guys. Oh, fuck. God, I forgot about that. These guys are bad allies. They're never going to be ready for a war with Ming. I mean, I would love it if they actually w did help me out. I would love it if the Ottomans helped me out, but... Allied with Spain, they don't trust me. They want my provinces, so they fucking hate my guts. I did betray them. Uh, I was digging around in the ledger off screen, and what I could gather, Ming's army is inferior to mine on the field. But that's about as much as I could I could gain on it. They're, I think they're more, they got, you know, they got about twice as many men, and their morale is through the roof. <laughs> Holy Roman Empire is nothing. Uh, we do have a agent in Ming right now doing stuff. I don't know if they're doing it. If, if anything they're doing is, uh, let's see, corrupt officials. What does this do? It gives them corruption. Let's fog a war. I don't need to do anything. I guess we'll just save it up. Like, I was going to attack these guys and dig a land route through them to Ming so I can march in, but I don't think that's going to happen. Here, I could, um, can offer an alliance. Ming's military. Oh! Oh, France is involved in this. Huh! So if I wanted to, I could I could get in on this right fucking now. I am not ready for it though. Are you uh, is is France actually involved? No. They could call France into it though. Is the thing. That sucks. I am in no way prepared for this. That's that that is the thing is I am not fucking ready in any goddamn way. Half my army is on the other side of the planet. I'm behind on military tech. So let's uh let's let's roll a general through here. Got a got a shit one. Oh, well, let's just leave. 
Uh, we have until September. We got a month to decide. No. I don't know how long we have to decide this. But we're not fucking ready. My fleet, my, uh, my armies are on the other side of the planet. Like, I got an army over here. I got an army in South Africa. I got, I got two over up here, I think. I don't even know where, I got two armies up here. I don't even know where my transports are right now or what they're doing. But my tea is ready. That's, that's something I do know. This is a really hard decision. This is an offensive war, so Ming's tributaries should not be involved in it. I can transport two armies with this fleet. So I'm going to go get the ones in England and send, and, and send those guys home. Uh, fuck. I got these two armies sitting right here, which is no way to get home. Alright, these guys are, are ready and raring to go up here. Oh my god. Except... Oh, Wan Poor got involved. At war with Ming. Oh, who's the war leader? Ah, they're the war. Okay, so now I got to make sure that I tell them I want stuff from Ming. Or if we do beat them, we'll never get anything. So we got to go here, click on this button, click on this button, and then say, I want Beijing. So what I'm going to say is I'm going to tell them I want the entire coast of of uh, any coastal provinces that we can take I want. So I'm going to mark the coast. Uh, that must be already claimed. It's a sh shame I can't tell. But I'm, I'm going to say any of that stuff I want. All right, we managed to actually bring a hell of a force against Ming. And unfortunately right now, I kind of got to sit here and wait till I can tack up before I can send troops against uh, against them. They don't have generals in charge of a lot of this stuff, which is cool. And it's just, it's just a real big shame that this happened at such a shit time for me. I literally just lost an entire army's worth of people. And I want my... Alright, okay, I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna tell everybody to be super aggressive. Uh, aggressive. Oh, blah, 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 blah. You guys can... You guys can handle that. I just gotta get my, my tech up before... Because they, they're definitely teched up. 30. Um, yeah. And that's a big one, because that's morale. And flanking, which is extremely important when you're talking about armies this goddamn big. Agent was discovered in Ming. Shame. Also, military tactics. Fuck yeah. Uh, I need military tech points. Okay. Uh, so, because I need leaders. I need to roll leaders. All of my leaders died. It's infuriating. They all died, all of them. Got really high maneuver, which is gonna be nice. Oh, there's some angry people. Great frigates, go home. Those are some angry Chinese. Um. Let's tell these guys to go home. I'm not worried about my economy in the slightest bit. Uh, how long is it going to take? Is, is my, is my, okay, you guys march down here. Where is my, my fleet of... Oh, God, they've barely gotten anywhere. I'm just not prepared. Farmland. Mountains. Ooh, we could hit them there. 
All right, we got to march up here. Hit them in the mountains. Because that's minus two for them. I can't wait to actually fight them because I do not know in the slightest bit what it's going to be like in terms of how strong their military is. This guy's going first. All right, everybody go in. This is mountains. This is this is mountains, and we have the the terrain bonus. All right, so let's see here. My morale's about ten percent higher than them. My uh, well, uh, my discipline's about ten percent higher, which means we're doing a lot more damage. Our military tactics is higher. Base five. Everybody's got the same from. For military tech, 2.75. Oh, from discipline. Nice. That means we are going to be much more effective in the field against the Chinese. We might actually be able to stack wipe this army. If we don't... Oh, uh, yeah. We stack. First combat against the, 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 the Chinese, we stack wipe their army in the field. All right, we're going to go up here because that's mountains again. Oh, are they going to hit me here? I'll, I'll, I'll back up my, my, my men there. If we can get there on time. Oh, no, we cannot. But we'll still hit them when their uh, shit's low. Yeah. Oh, ho. 5,000 men dead per tick. That's huge. Not that I'm... Oh, that was a... That's another stack-wiped army. Oh, my God. We, we're just killing... We killed, like, 100,000 of them already. This is going to be a stack-wipe. Can promise you that. Stack-wiped. I only lost, like, 3,500 men. Holy shit. And they're already like, okay, 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 man. Okay, I understand. Stop hitting me, please. Uh, Wampur, your armies are right there. And what I might do is drop, once I can, is drop two armies on Beijing. These two. So what you're going to do is, fuck, right, we're doing this again. All right, you're going to attach a transport, attach a transport. What are these? Archipelago frigates? Yeah, join up on there. Up, join up there. Just in case. That's going to be a long journey. Level 8 forts. I cannot believe how many men we killed. I mean, I'm sure they're going to replace those, like, right off the fucking bat, but still. They still... Um, their manpower is basically gone. Jesus Christ. We won a battle against the... Oh, the French... The French got involved. The French joined in. Oh, it's escalating, guys. It is escalating. So... This is a big fucking war. <laughs> and Taungua. Ta Taungu is the fucking leader of this. Ming, let's see. These are the these are the the stack wipes. I'm gonna get hang on, where's my phone? I'm gonna add this up correctly. 
calculator. All right, so that's 44, 45, 590, 45, 590, plus 44, 44, plus 64, 36, 64, uh, no, 60,000, 60,000, 436. Oh, Jesus Christ, 147,000 men. Now I have, now I'm sitting here going, okay, France is a, is a, is a big problem. Do I invade Paris? Now I'm thinking I gotta leave these armies over here. Because they could really fuck me. So I'm thinking we gotta leave those armies over there, but we do have... God, where are my other transport fleets? Because we do have our other armies available. My transport fleets are where I gotta I gotta pinpoint them. There's one right there. It's this guy. Okay, there's two right here. All right, all right let's do this. Let's put these guys together because that Ming that Ming Navy is fucking strong. Merge that. How many men do you need to siege this? 36. I don't have 36,000 men. My god, and like these are fucking tropical. Uh I'm 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 abandoning these. I'm going I'm going this way. I'm not I'm not sieging down this inland shit. I'm going over this way. I'm going to start taking the coastline. All right, so we've got 22 heavies and 116 transports here. And the, the nearest army is is uh, that I can get to is right here. So let's go get these guys. And the only good thing about this is that we don't have to deal with Ming's tributaries. Uh, the bad thing is that I lost 70,000 men the day the war started, basically. I don't know what you guys are doing up here. Go take out those guys in your land. They're in jungle provinces. I'm just hoping that... Yeah, jungle. Uh, there's some of the coastal ones are not, uh, not as bad. We'll keep my three armies together. Let's see, who's got any siege pips? Zero, zero. I don't have a single guy with a siege, with a siege pip. All right, right there. Battle of St. George's Channel. Go to, oh, I just, I wish I had seen what that was. That was a that was a big victory. That was a big victory and I didn't I didn't catch it. Oh, uh, is there somebody on this Oh, there is. There's somebody on those transports. There we go. Land those guys. I mean, we could land in in France, but that doesn't I don't have confidence in the the French are a lot more difficult of a foe than the goddamn Chinese. So we are going to blast down the walls. I'm going to... You are going to come over here and help with that guy. And we just have to take this one. And then we can... And we're going to we're gonna go along the coastline. You can attack me if you want. I swear to God I'll allow you. London! Hell of a fight. I'll give him that. 
it was just I I really do wish we had the men in place when this happened because that would have made things a lot more fun. I mean, we made some good progress here. We did pay for it, but yeah, we can be friends. I think we can uh, intercept that army. I think we can. I might get negative two there. I got, got negative one. Jesus Christ, the difference. And stack wiped. The difference in casualties is just astonishing. I mean, I've killed like 200,000 of their soldiers so far. I, I wish the other allies would, you know, get their heads out of their butt and do something. Um... I mean, like, you guys could hit, I don't know, this jungle army right there and just smash them to bits. I lost what I lose. One ship. <laughs> Hi, France. Bitches. Um, might have to land my armies in France just to see what fucking happens. That, that navy is definitely nowhere near where they need to be. This is mighty interesting. I hope I get something out of it. Stack wiped another, uh, an army of like 70, 60,000, 60 something thousand, uh, Chinese heading towards the front. Of course, I'm gonna roll a, a one. What else? If I'm Benjamin Magnus, what else would I roll? All my, f my most powerful fleets are elsewhere, sadly. So I can't really fight the Chinese too well. Not in the Navy, at least. Not in the seas. 36,000 men. What are you going to do with that? I'm going to roll something better than a 5. Or just roll exactly a 5. That's, that's precisely what I wanted you to do. Oh, that was our military guy. Reinforced speed, land maintenance fire, national manpower modifier. That's going to help out here. I mean, I would imagine Ming's out of... Out of uh, manpower by now. Yeah. Got 180 regiments of mercs. Well, we can run through those, too. I just want to take this province. If I could start taking some of their forts and actually blocking some movement, I would really love that. Oh, they're coming in on me. Let, let, let them engage. There we go. All right, now go help out. Or we might not even get there in time. There we go. So I think we've got another combat coming too, because somebody's trapped in the movement. Yup. Oh. Oh, please tell me I'm gonna get a stack wipe on somebody. It's a slaughter. I lost 13,000 men, they lost 33,000. I'm actually gonna let one tick go by with everybody sitting on this, just to see if we'll get lucky on the, uh, the siege roll. See, what was this? I lost two heavies and two transports? Oh, it was the guys I told to move over here. Fuck. Um, my bad. This is actually going to get me access to China if we get a good roll, which we didn't. Okay, one more month if we get a good roll. We got another big army coming, too. Come on! This is the last time I'm trying with the with this, taking this much attrition. Ah! Sorry. I rolled a fucking one. I rolled a goddamn fucking one. There we go. Nice. Okay. Next army. Right over there. You. Right over here. 
Move on up for me. Start knocking out some Chinese shit. What is this? Oh, that's those guys. Sorry, I can't help you. My fleet's not here yet. I got a fleet. I got my big fleet coming over. Well, one of my big fleets coming over. How's it? How's everything going over here with France? Fine. Fine. Here, how about you uh, just sit here and blockade some shit? I mean, I don't think there's any really... France doesn't really have any colonial nonsense, I don't think. And I seriously can't figure out why these guys will not fight their own battles. And yes, we are going to pay for that right off the bat. One army is going to sit by... Um, and reinforce the other one's gonna start sieging down some shit. Was that two? I did do two there. The attrition's gonna really start to get to me. I'm already down, I mean, you know, my manpower's already getting low. I really want to beat that giant Ming fleet, but I still have, I have to wait for mine to get over here. I, I, I'm pretty sure all this stuff is... Claimed by Mr. Magnus in terms of shit I want at the end of the war. No, this was none of this was claimed. So we have to we have to move up the coast a ton before we can get to stuff that's actually claimed by us. And it looks like they're coming in. That's just farmland, so nobody's getting nothing there. Chance of a new heir. Oh, admin is capped out. Uh, stability? I'll pay for a stability point. Then right now I'm like, I'll pay for anything that makes my military stronger. Morale, siege ability. Oh, maxed out. Take that off. Don't need that. Discipline 5%. Are they going to actually try to get me down here? My discipline's even higher than it was before. Oh, I can't get there. So cancel that. Well, they can't get through either. Is my... Oh, my fleet arrived. Yes! Alright. We're gonna engage the Ming Navy. Or we're not. I will... I do want to drop this these guys off, though. So as soon as I, I showed up, they were like, Ah, no. So you need a fucking leader. If we're gonna we're gonna run out of military po uh, points so fast. That's a good leader. And you're gonna get dropped off right there. What's going on, guys? Here comes the navy. Oh, that's no big deal. We can actually attack them. They actually got a general. It's just the damage we do to them. My, my discipline is so high. Come on, stack wipe. I don't think it's going to be a stack wipe. But, I mean, we did kill like 20,000 of them. We're going to run out of manpower. But I hope that we can really get some good, uh, some good attacks. And there are no Ming armies left. There's one Ming army left over here and one small French army left over here. But that's it. Please tell me they can't move directly through forts. Oh, thank God they actually have to stop. Ugh. Can I get back over here? Hang on. Let's let's get this guy. Uh, right here. Just, yeah, just bloop over, because I want to hit this army.
which is going to mean uh, you've taken a lot of damage. So this army's got to go first. Because I don't want them to actually get that siege. <laughs> this keeps fluctuating as it's blockaded and unblockaded. But if you go over here, then it'll be blockaded. Once we take that, then we could actually start moving on an area where it's claimed by us. They've uh, brought in a hundred extra regiments of mercenaries. Yeah, we are going to run out of men way before them. Well, they already, they're out of men. They're murking it up. Oh, those guys are going to get stack wiped in a hot second. <laughs> So this guy's going to go in first, and then everybody else is going to dogpile. It's, I'm going to outnumber them, actually. Let's see what happens here. This is a big battle. Oh, I'm rolling zeros. Another zero. Fuck you, game. Oh, that's so frustrating. It's like, okay, I could easily win this and do massive damage to the enemy, but you rolled nothing but zeros. So you did. I lost like 20,000 troops there. I actually thought that was going to go a lot better. We are winning the war. And these guys are just so obsessed with sieging their, their territory back. What happens is, instead of... Uh, just taking out the army. They're constantly just sieging land and walking around. Uh, there was an army over here. There's, look, there's hundreds of thousands of troops walking around doing nothing. Alright, so uh, we gotta head back over there because I just see another 100,000 stack of Ming soldiers. So we gotta make sure this guy gets uh, his reinforcements. What was this? That was just some lights against the French. Okay. See if we can engage their navy right here proper like. Nope. All right, we'll blockade them in then. I would love it if my guys actually came over and helped. Come on, get me a siege worthy of Mordor. Do we have uh, any spy? No, we don't have a spy network here. Dogpile. All right, we did better that time. Only by a little, though. Like we were stack wiping them. Now we're not. Now we're not stack wiping them. Where's that big ass Ming fleet? What I'm afraid of is that I'm not going to actually get anything out of this. Which I'm pretty sure, unless I take, because I got to take this. This, this one, and then start moving up the coastline and take more. Before it's like, okay, now you can have some stuff. Send everybody in. We gotta try stack wiping more of these armies. Oh, damn it. It's over. Mong Yang... What, uh, uh, has we, uh, so they took, they took four pro, this guy took four provinces. Where, where? Over here. Uh, so I lost, this was Defender. Is this me personally? Well, uh, anyway. We went way over on time fighting Ming. We were not prepared for it, so it was not not as enthralling as I hoped. We didn't get any land, but Ming was beaten. And now we have a truce with them, sadly. Get an ally out of it, though. 
Well, that was anticlimactic. They ended the war in the middle of that battle. We did kill hundreds of thousands of, of Chinamen. Uh, let's see. But uh, Ming, Ming somehow managed to raise up 300 regiments of mercenaries. That seems physically impossible. Like, what if, if I did create temple? I just want to test something out here. This would be the cheapest, the cheapest ones. That would cost 200. And let's say it was more like a, a, a more even split. Something like this. That'd be about 300. Well, I guess I could pull it off. Can Ming pull that off? Ah, they make more money than I do. So, yeah. I mean, they could. Man, that's... How do they keep their economy up, though, without bankrupting themselves? But anyhow, uh, thank you for watching, everybody. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.